Time for a reef update. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, this is Brian coming at you today with an update on the reef tank. For those of you that are new to this channel or first time seeing one of my videos, um, this is a 29 gallon Coralife BioCube and it's about two years old. Um, and I just want to do a kind of an update uh, for the month of May 2017. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is um, the way I'm filming this. I'm going to take something off, the, it's a filter right now, you can see all of a sudden that adds a bunch of blue. Uh, what I've got is one of these new filter clips, I don't know if they're new, but picked one up at my local fish, fish store recently, they're 15 bucks and a lot easier than using those gel filters. And it seems to look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back on and we'll be right back with you. Okay, so we've got the filter back on and we'll just kind of go through the tank and um, show you everything. See, let you know how things are doing and everything. And then kind of a special sneak peek at the very end. Uh, to start with, <clears throat> excuse me, if you remember from my last video, I've gotten the algae problem um, pretty much under control now. Um, I upped my water changes and I... Um, changed out my foss guard um, more frequently and then in addition I removed some by hand or uh, actually by um, with a toothbrush um, and siphoned it out so um, that really has seemed to help out um, gonna continue to monitor my phosphates to make sure that they're down we'll give you kind of a zoomed out view of the tank here um, and we'll go from there. Now, the other problem that I thought I had under control that we talked about last time was the Aptasia. Um, I ended up using uh, the Aptasia X, great product. Uh, took care of all the um, uh, Aptasia NEMS that I uh, saw in the tank, uh, but some more have come back now. Uh, see if I can find any. There's one back here. We'll see if we can zoom in on it. You can see the tentacles. Um, and then there's another one, there's a dead coral right there, and the Aptasia's on, on it. And I know there's at least one more, oh yeah, right on this side of the tank over here, you can see that big dog. So uh, we will address those and get rid of them. But the Aptasia X seemed to work pretty good, it was kind of neat to, to use it for the first time and watch how it pretty much instantly destroyed the Aptasia, so... So let's go and uh, kind of take you through everything on the tank. Let's start with the torch coral right here. Uh, doing real well. Really has opened up. I think in my last video I had just gotten it. Along with uh, this hammer right here and the octo spawn up here. Uh, the hammer is also doing real well. Uh, the octo spawn has not really opened up as, as open as it was at the frag swap where I got it. Um, I've moved it once thinking... Um, it needed a different uh, amount of flow possibly. It's in a pretty low flow area as you can see compared to like the torch how much it's moving. I'm not real familiar with them and I haven't done any research so um, let me know if this needs more or less flow. Um, needs to be more towards the top or to the bottom of the tank that type of thing. Uh, anyone that knows about them let me know. Uh, the, uh, the leather toadstool next to it's doing real well. This Monty right here, uh, the rock structure recently broke and so this Monty separated but it's cool because there's going to be now uh, one on the rock structure or one on each rock structure and so basically it's um, it's like I split it. Um, what else? Uh, oh this, this kind of branchy one, I forget the name of it up on top, seems to be doing okay. Green star polyps in the back there, looking good. This guy in the top has, has been doing well, although it's been kind of leaning over to the right lately, so I'm not sure what's up with that. The trumpet here is doing real good. Lots of heads on that. The Duncan is doing really good, and the Duncan's actually not even opened all the way right now. It, it, it actually looks bigger from time to time. Uh, there's a ton of heads on that. Uh, the new Zoa kind of rock colony that I bought is doing decent. Lots of nice looking greens and colors on there. The, 
the plate down there is doing fine, I guess. It's my first uh, uh, experience with one of those, so I'm not really sure what to be looking for. Um, the Zoas and Pallies on the side of the tank are doing okay. Um, because of the the uh, Aptasia over there, there was some problems with get them getting stung, and so not everything is kind of back to normal. Actually, there's a few pieces of Aptasia in there. I'm holding the phone around the corner, but I'm not really looking. Now this down here, I think that leather toadstool on the other side of the tank used to be over here. I think this is some growth from that starting to grow. We'll see what happens. Um, really nice small zoa colony in back here that I want to get out of there and, and out where it's more visible. Um, like I was talking about in my last video too, the pulsing zinnia are really starting to come back and take over. Um, so that sucks. I, I really don't like those. I would highly recommend to anybody to never get those in a reef tank if you can avoid it. Green star polyps are doing awesome as always. I need to cut some of this back because it's really starting to take over. You can see that I moved some over here and now it's really taken off. And then on the back of the wall of the tank and this and that. Um, one thing I do plan on doing in this tank is uh, getting some new rock. And I'm going to redo this tank um, because of a few things. Number one, I did not attach these rocks and they move all the time when I set this up. I'm gonna grab um, some rocks from a purple reef, I believe that's what it's called, and uh, this time I will attach them, probably drill them and use rods to connect them, and then just reattach the corals. Hopefully I don't lose many corals, if any, um, during that process. The other reason is so that I can once and for all rid myself of the pulsing xenia. Um, and then hopefully then what I'll be able to do is uh, just allow the tank to, to go on its own and I won't have to worry about dealing with either of those two issues. As far as the fish go, the clowns are doing great. Um, the the uh, bicolor pseudo, he's not out right now, oh there he comes. He's doing good. I'm going to uh, return this pajama cardinal that I've had for quite a while to the local fish store and probably replace it with some kind of wrasse. And I'm trying to see if the goby and pistol shrimp are around right now. I don't see them. Um, another possible casualty is the uh, skunk shrimp or cleaner shrimp, however you wanna, whatever you want to call it. I have not seen him in quite some time, so I think uh, he did pass away, which is too bad. But what I'm going to probably do is add another one of those, and then a uh, fire shrimp, and uh, and that'll be cool for this tank. So anyway, um, that's about all I have um, for right now. I want to talk about another update when it comes to reefing, as far as uh, I'm concerned and that is this over here I'm just gonna give you a quick sneak peek on something I'm starting it's gonna be a 125 gallon uh, reef ready tank I've got all the equipment in I'm gonna do a separate video on setting up this tank kind of a series and I'll go over all the equipment that I'm using with the filter on it probably looks kind of yellowish or brownish but anyway you've got that to look forward to that's about all I'll say on that for right now. Kind of wet your whistle as far as uh, something new coming to my channel. But for everybody who watches, I want to thank you. Um, as always, uh, make sure you like, uh, comment, uh, share. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. I do uh, regular updates on all my fish tanks. Uh, I keep freshwater fish as well. That's kind of actually my more main part of the hobby. I've got... Uh, a fish room down in my basement. Um, I do regular updates on those videos and I also keep freshwater shrimp. So if you're interested in that, check that out also. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for the reef build.